Radiant team ban. All right, guys, we are on to the finals of our first competition, Dial best of three. Bit, the fight is between Team Seventies and Bali's Gaming. So Radiant I will be the only one that will be casting this game because so Sin has some school related stuff. And yeah, since I have no school tomorrow, that's why I'm continuing this thing now. So I apologize if I can't really cast properly because I'm a bit tired. And yeah, it's a bit weird casting alone. You have to talk to yourself for like what 30 to one hour, 30 minutes to one hour. Yeah, let's hope that there's no more bug this time now. Because even if there's a bug, I can't do anything because I'm the only one that's hosting this game now. Yep. So as you use a standard with the wyvern last right? So Earth even though the Lazarek yeah the Lazarek pick just now wasn't that Dire big of a deal pick. actually it, it didn't really make much of a big difference to the game but it, even still the yeah everyone is still afraid of the Lazarek so the first pick from the team at 70s is Earthshaker so uh, from the past few games of for at least for yesterday Earthshaker was always the first pick for us uh, on Radiant pick. for the last three games of yesterday if I remember correctly as usual the, but the first pick clockwork it always goes together with clockwork I mean clockwork to always goes together with gyro so it won't be a surprise if they just pick gyro for the second one it's always a standard and I realize bounty is always bad Silence, I always I, I myself don't like Playing with Bounty because of his Shadow Walk and yeah, track kill is really a big deal in later game. So it's I think it's always a good idea to ban on Bounty. And Silencer again similarly to previous game. <coughs> so yeah, it's actually with so uh team suddenly speak up the gyro copter, which is quite surprising because I will be I expected I expected Bali's gave me a big gyrocopter actually. Yeah, but they instead they went for the silencer. Radiant TA band and Nina band. So nothing usual. So both both sides still don't have their uh mid lane hero yet unless you are unless they are planning to go for a gyro beat, which I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Yeah, gyro from for team seventy. Yeah, gyro from the last game was quite, uh, quite fun. Actually, it's one of the uh, farmers here in the game, and uh, it's one of the bigger impact of the game. Like one corner, it, it it's corner always lands on at least three hero, three to four heroes at once, and it instantly takes away most of their health. Yeah, being one of the more mainstream hero, yeah, of course they will get picked. So let's see what. The third, what's the third pick for the Bali's Gaming? Stone anyway, for spirit. those that just doing this will be a uh, best of three. So, uh, yeah, it's just like a normal best of three games. I apologize that I can't make all the game best of three because it will be very tiring actually. And it's since this is the first competition, we would like to try to keep it simple. So yeah, that, that was an MP with a very fast Storm Spirit, the shot and in image pick. Storm Spirit was picked by the uh, Buddy's Gaming as you can see. Together with the anti image, I I'm pretty sure this anti image pick was it's either they banned the anti image or they picked the anti image. So they did they decided to go for picking it straight away. And both team doesn't they have not used up their reserve time yet. It's still it's, it's a very fast pick actually. Yeah, actually I'm more glad that it's a fast pick so we can end this game faster. But actually with the pick, with anti mage pick, they might attempt to drag out the game. Reserve time. And yeah, of course the disruptor pick is quite standard. When you see a storm speed pick, most of the time, actually, uh, it's a good counter. Disruptor static storm will Radio always stop storm speed when he zap in, and after that he can't zap on anymore. And next we can see a Queen of Pain pick. It's uh it's the first time actually that we see in this competition. If I remember correctly, I don't remember seeing any Queen of Pain uh in this competition. It was I don't think I have seen her being banned as well. 
I really like Queen of Pain, but I, I myself don't know how to use it. It was most of the time I would just bring it into the middle and I would just die instantly. <laughs> because it's it's a very paper hero. So let's see the two last pick. Oh yeah, so anyway, for I've been casting for the past few games, and I I realized I did not Lion. introduce myself. Uh, I'm the admin of the SGD2 group page. Me and my friend decided to start this page because basically it's just for a platform for us to trade. Oh, a tiny pick? That was, that's very surprising actually. I, I totally did not expect this tiny pick. So, I'm pretty sure the lion pick was because of for Queen of Pain. Like, you can. Once your hex up and impale finger, Queen of Pain is uh, most probably dead. But that is if the lion can hex Queen of Pain first before anything else happens. So let's hope for very fair. I mean, not fair. I mean, a uh, more balanced game. So you can see a full three, three games for our finals. So let's see. Uh, there's nothing is wrong here. Okay. Are you ready? Everything seems good. Oh, oh, she got golden, golden immortal. Rich people. I wish I had one. Yeah, I bought like three demi heroes and I didn't get any golden cards. Okay, so let's take a look at the laning of the teams. Queen of Bing going to the top lane. Gyro, oh, the Gyro is really going for mid. I'm pretty sure they won't be putting Gyro and mid. Uh, are you going to swap? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't think they will be putting Gyro and mid. Are they going to put Gyro and mid? Bottom lane, the shorter saw clockwork, and he he has not skill yet. Fissure, fissure onto the clockwork. I don't think they can do anything. Oh, he glimpsed Oh, he glimpses away. He's, he missed his cocks then. Uh, is this her first blood? Tiny is quite far behind, but yeah, actually Cockwood has, he can't run away anymore, so the best, yeah, the best thing he can do is just die to towers, but I don't think he can die to towers. Eh? First blood goes to Tiny, actually. That was quite unfortunate, that's, yeah, the glimpse was well done. Stupendous. It's, it's because of the glimpse. Oh, no one is taking the bottom tower, bottom bounty. Okay, Tiny went to get. What have we here? So actually, Tiny took the first blood and the bounty, so he is like nearly, nearly level two. They pin out this ward. I'm not sure if they if they realize there's a ward there. Oh, the f first item on Lion is, is a boots, so it's going to be a very aggro, tri aggro try lane. Did the Queen of Pins saw? Oh. He saw, he, he saw silence. Uh. Queen, okay, I don't think Queen of Pain will be able to farm. But Queen of Pain or Gyro mid, I will still prefer Queen of Pain mid because since she can blink in and initiate uh, earlier on, like oh, and Gyro went for Holy Mix. Huh? Okay, this is a more different build. Okay. Oh, a Fissure on Stone Speed, Rocket Brush. Yeah, and Stone Speed isn't level six yet, so you can't run away. Is this another kill? Hey, oh, this will be a second kill going to Gyro. Team 70 is there on the... On the run? Okay, I don't know how to see it. There's a limit to my English vocab. I failed my old level English. Sorry guys, I'm trying my best to... Top alone. Top lane? Yeah, it's... Queen of Pain is... He's not even getting any experience. As you can see, his experience at what? 20 out of 200 means it you only get like one creep yeah but I guess in exchange for having sucky lanes for Queen of Pain they are actually dominating uh, bottom and at least you get a kill at mid and yeah Earth Shaker is coming again yeah this is just the kind of Earth Shaker that I was looking for during the combination so a fissure another fissure on Storm Speed they can run a rotation in from Lion can, the, can Lion do anything about it? Rocket Brush on the Storm Speed Hex, hex up on the gyro and gyro doesn't have any mana left I think his house rate is going down again 
second time it's Tom Smith going down. Yeah, so this is a kind of Earth Shaker that I would like to see because for the past few games, all the, the Earth Shakers was like really a roaming type. They were they were more like in the lane trying to uh, trying to protect them and something like that. So as you can see, this Earth Shaker is is really like running around trying to gank. Because as for level one fissure, the the stun doesn't matter that much. It's more of the blocking for the level one. The one second is good good enough for the homing missile to reach the the, the opponent. So let's see, Queen of Pain is finally at level two. But there's nothing much he can do. AM will be free farming for a while. He has to make sure that he farm up well. Because there's people like the gyrocopter who can melt him down during mid game. AM is actually pretty paper. So gyro is ro oh, is rotating out again, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they can't kill the AM. But if they saw the silencer, they should be able to kill the silencer. Fissure oh fissure misses! Curse of Silent, oh he's, he's just dead. The fissure, the miss fissure cost is like actually. If they have managed to fissure him properly, the screen of pain might be able to cure off silencer. Because a shadow strike shadow strike actually deals a lot of damage. Because I remember the bottom tower is under attack. Quite a lot of damage. Denied. So yeah, that was a uh, uh, that's unfortunate. Only Tanya is farming well as well. Oh, so they saw. They know that Lion took invisibility. And that was quite an early, early century as well. Maybe it's just to block out this camp so that the gyro can't. It can't stack for the gyro. A level three with level two stun. Oh. I oh they realize it's there oh there's a sentry over here, lion might be dead if he don't can he blink it and shot oh he doesn't have scream. That's quite weird going for level two shadows right I thought normally I'll I'll actually max scream or pain first just to farm and shadow shot I'll go for one level for the twenty percent movement so yeah depending on the current status of the game I'll. I'll switch between uh, Bling and Shadow Strike. So, maybe by going for a higher, po more points on the Shadow Strike, he, uh, she can cure more. Too bad. But still, I think I will still go for the skill of it. Middle Holy Missile on Stone Speed, there's nothing he can do actually. If Lion comes down now, if he, he can hex and stun him. But uh, Storm Speed isn't going for the electric Voltax build, so we can't really stop. Actually, there's no need for him to stop since Lion is there to hex out and stun. Another homing missile up onto Storm Speed. It's pretty irritating. Is he? Oh, he's going for the max homing missile build, so he don't have any flat cannon. It's <coughs> quite a different. Different build than what most gyro uh, have during the last few games. Double damage on the storm speed. And yeah, it's. I don't think it's a very passive game. Another silence on Queen of Pain. It's quite irritating actually. If, if you can manage to get his fissure out properly onto a silencer, they, they might be able to get a kill on him. But they're not really controlling the uh, anti mage, so he'll be free from me. Same goes for the tiny. They are actually quite equally firm. No, actually the tiny is, has better farm. A stun onto the silencer, but he, Queen of Pain is silenced because of the curse of silence. He will, she will be going down again. So yeah, the curse of silence really stops the Queen of Pain from doing. Oh, a call down onto the Storm Speed, and yes, yeah, Storm Speed won't be going down. And together with the double damage with and Lion was there to support Storm, there isn't a chance for Gyro to escape or really kills off Storm Spirit. So that's a seven hundred gold swing. It's not that big 
difference right now since it's still early. But if you start to give uh, Storm's Rage chance to snowball, uh, it will be like one of the games yesterday where no one can stop the Storm's Rage anymore. So a homie missile on to Storm's Rage, can they? Is he going to glimpse? Oh, he's. Yeah, he just lightning ball the homie missile away. Lion is back onto mid lane. He already have his tranquil boots. He's actually doing not that bad, considering he's been running around. So with his boots, you can see that his movement is like 380 already. So he can really catch up to people even without his bling. So I, I'm pretty sure they realize that Tiny is really farming quite well. They're, so they're planning to gang on to Tiny. Oh, is just level four, so no hook shot. But there's still power cocks. Can he do something about it? Zip in from from Swan Street, stun or tiny. I don't think he can run. Or oh, avalanche, avalanche onto tree and zip in, toss onto. Oh, he's going to die. Oh, at least he managed to get a clockwork. Is he going to glimpse on back? He's, he glimpses on back, but he has a mana to run away. So that's not much of a glimpse actually. More like wasting the mana away. Okay, at least Tiny managed to get uh, caught work. That was a nice avalanche actually, he caught three of them. Oh, he managed to stun off a uh, silencer, but yeah, nothing. Can't do anything as well. What is he? Oh, actually. Okay, oh, Shaker went for the energy booster first. Do you want to talk like that? Can other people see? I should have done that. Shadow Shot on the uh, anti witch but nothing much will happen actually. Oh, the homing missile, the f full level homing missile is quite irritating, <laughs> especially for supports like Lion or Silencer. As you can see, it just took away like half of the HP. And yeah, the Oshaka isn't really roaming around much right now, he's just staying in the top lane. Maybe because uh, Queen of Pain died quite a number of times. As you can see, he surely died twice to the silencer and the enemies. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Cut well, six soon? Five now? He's. I think he's going for the big dagger first. No, take that. Shaker taking the bounty? Will he be taking the bounty? He's not picking it up actually. But there's too many sentries around for them to have a successful invasion again. Bottom lane, can they do it? No. Okay, Tiny should be getting his bling at the side shop. He's not planning to get get the bling. Okay, I guess not now. Stone Spirit rotating to bottom. If he managed to catch this Tiny before he gets his bling, it will be quite big. Is he not going to back? Everyone is gone. If he doesn't back now, right, uh, Stone Street will be able to catch him up. And this shot turn, he's 6, oh he's 6, so there's still a chance for... Yeah, they are planning to get the disruptor first. And, oh, he went in to buy the bling now. Static, st static Storm on the wrong part of the map. Oh, okay, man, at least they managed to get caught. Call down on Stone Street, did he hit? Oh, he, he's TP. He's his TP ball lightning doesn't work, he doesn't have enough mana to, to zip it away further. That was unfortunate. Although the disruptor ultimate misses. Oh, a toss over on uh, homing missile. Is he going to hit? If this hits, Lion will be most probably dead. Yeah, he's trying to get it uh, as close as possible, but it's, it took, basically took away half of the HP. He's trying to minimize the damage by staying closer. Does the damage increases? Yeah, the damage increases as the missile fly past. So he's trying, he's like betting his luck on uh, him. The missile not traveling so far just to deal too much damage. But I guess it's still not enough. Pretty sad for the lion. He's like two holy missile and he'll be dead. Oh, he's gonna walk past to Queen of Pink. Queen of Pink can't can't do anything. If he cast something and not blink, he will get silenced. Yeah, this is what happened. Yeah, I'm. It's quite weird that he, she decided to went for the shadow strike instead of the blink after getting the curse of silence. 
Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Wait, it will fall wait, get... like a ripe apple. Keep... Oh no, it's not because I mean the last word. I keep looking at this. I keep missing this. This spell's name. So, so when. It... Alright, I see it's quite interesting that he skipped last word only. But I guess it's more important than the rest. Oh, Cockwork Cock gets a kill on Earth Shaker. Oh, I didn't really catch that. Gyro, can you, can you see? Sounds sweet. Is he gonna get the stack? He, yeah, he just decided to skill flag. Uh, Sounds sweet will, will spot out Gyro. Will he spot Gyro? He's not flicking. Okay, at least he. Okay, at least the Sounds isn't here. Okay, yeah, this will be a dead, dead disruptor if he doesn't do anything. Static Storm hit. You say so before he died? No, he did not use his Static Storm. Any Fissure? He got no mana. It's, it's a good. Doesn't have any mana, not much mana to run away. Going for broke. Oh, and tiny, tiny managed to get out lion. This lion has been. Actually, this lion has been roaming around alone. He's trying, always in lane alone. You know what? A call down onto the stack, actually, is nothing. But this will really give him a lot of network. Silent onto, onto the Queen of Pain, and again, it. Easy now kill for the end damage. If the the kill B is really not not doing very very well in this game, and damage is just the end damage and silencer combo really crashes killing of pain. Even though that's the global silence used, I still find it's worth it because you are giving experience and money to the end damage, and it's actually getting like fourteen minutes. Nearly, I think at most 15 minutes or 15 minutes better free, which is quite fast. And after he gets better free, uh, uh, no one can really outfund him. And since Tiny decided to go for the Blink Dagger first, he won't have his Argan name for the Cliff effect anytime soon. Blinking, I think it's just Dyer's the middle tower is uh, under attack. Fountain regeneration. No Gale can snuff the flames. The so Dyer's hide has grown thick. Smoke out on the bottom. Dyer's okay. middle tower is learning to fear. They are trying fear. to find, find the gyro. If you manage to find this gyro, you'll be big. He already got his Yasha. And Tiny, he, they, will, they will see the Tiny, a finger on Tiny. Hacks up and attack. electric will tax Remnants. And yeah, that is very easy to kill. He shouldn't go yes side three of them there. Where's the party? Okay, that was tower unfortunate actually. Fast. AM? Oh, they managed to kill the AM. Uh, yeah, and I'm pretty sure Static Storm was used just to secure. Attack. Just to make sure he doesn't bleed away. Do. Okay, so at least that's a turnover for the. Comeback for the Queen of Pain. But she's still very low on, uh, on the net worth chart. Considering she's supposed to be farming. I think no, not really. Since she's F off lane, this is yeah, this is correct. I mean, this is what you expect from off lane here. Jaro is level eleven now. He's level two. Uh, call down. Clock oh, is here. We took. Oh, he got his blade already, so he can kill this Earth Shaker anytime soon. The cocks on Earth Shaker. He cannot do anything. Any enchant on us. Global silence on. On to bottom. Oh, it's a. It was a defensive global silence, and at the same time, Clock managed to catch. Maybe should kill off Earth Shaker. And Glimpse on the Lion static field. Oh, it, it doesn't really hit. Okay, but yeah, the homie missile and the, as usual managed to kill off like the Lion. The half. The damage on the homie missile onto the Lion is really qu quite disaster for Lion itself. Yeah, it's kinetic. I keep calling it static field. Yeah, kinetic field. At the same time, they are making space for uh, Queen of Pain to farm. She really needs the farm. She's quite low. Dyer's bottom she needs her item, at attack. least an orchid, to be able to stop the uh, anti mage. And again, if Silencer is not to manage to catch, do they need a second? Dyer's bottom this? tower has fallen. Uh, Earth Shaker is too far from that. And yeah, even though she, if she blink now, Stormsweet can catch up with her very easily. First, first hit, fissure, nice fissure, but the hex already stopped. Oh, stat static storm on to two. Graves back of the lion, lion will be dead again. And yep, as usual, silencer will die. Oh, a toss, but a miss. It's, they toss onto the clockwork instead. 
I don't think it will cops on the doom. Yeah, but the stun and red mill, red mill will take a lot of health from the Aegis up. Uh, it still has his mana void. Does, does he want to go for the mana void? A juke from the gyro. One more hit and mana void should be more than that. Oh, he tosses back. Oh, did he just blink back? Yeah, it's quite a weird. Well, Tiny will be going down. Oh, this, the Kumi missile will kill. Or oh, Echo Sam to secure the kill on Storm Speed. I won't say that's a very good. Very good uh, Echo Slam, but at least it managed to secure. Some city zip bins and. Oh, he managed to catch the Earth's Earth Shaker. And then he managed to finish off the Gyro as well. That's actually a totally worth it buyback. And blinking. Oh, the, the silence was a bit too late. And I still managed to catch up the Sansa. And oh, the Storm City doesn't have any mana left, but a uh, Soul Ring can the Soul Ring itself kill off. Queen of Pain, Queen of Pain is healing up with the water and digging in. Not enough mana for the Sonic Wave. He doesn't have enough right click. The Ramless itself won't be. Yeah, it's not enough. That was, that was actually quite questionable. But it's a good race, I guess. Yeah, so, Storm Sweet managed to buy back, kill 2 or 3, and survive the fight. It's still a very. It looks like. Uh, but this game are uh, winning the game. But then again, if you take a look at the net worth chart, uh, Tiny and Jaro is on the top of the net worth. And let's take a look. Uh, team net worth is around 4k, 4k advantage to 70s. And yeah, 3k advantage to 70s as well. Not very big difference. And hook shot onto Earth Shaker, and yep, as usual, the. Oh Shaker can't do anything. Yo, at least he gets an uh, enchant on out and stun on to the Earth Shaker. Avalanche can't do anything to it. Scream Sonic Wave on Hook work. No Blade Mill. Blade Mill for users now. And Gleams back together with a kinetic field on to the Lion. The Lion will be going down again. And this is this Lion is quite sad. He has been dying since the start of the game. He has already died 5 times actually. Radiant structures are fortified. They require time. Are they planning to Radiant top well? tower is under attack. Radiant top tower, tower has no shot. more. It kills on tiny Over here now. I guess you don't really need an IO for tiny now. A blink can you kill? A good combo and it will be dead. Oh he doesn't have any mana left. This will be a dead dead storm spirit. Another kill for the tiny and yeah, with this he will be able to get his Agalim straight away. And he's just 50 gold away from the what was spot up tiny with haste. They should know that he's here. And damage, yeah, as and I thought that he will be getting his battle free and like even earlier, but he's stuck with this. He's going for the offering first. With the offering, he can. Dyer's middle his full time job will be jungle. Oh, he saw the tiny. Hook shot on the tiny. Hacks up. Global silence. And he's not even doing much damage to tiny. And finger onto gyro. Then, as you're not doing much damage. Okay. Now, I guess it's now time for Team 70s to fight back. And global silence is used. Hook shot is used. A good bling and avalanche onto the anti mage might be able to create. Oh, toss the wrong thing. Oh, a yeah, static field onto the anti mage and they can't do anything else really. With the static field around here, Storm Spirit can't go in. Lion, Lion can only stand aside. Yeah, this what will be able to help spot Tiny, uh, tiny out. And hex up on the Tiny. I'm pretty sure they don't have enough damage to kill off Tiny. Gleams back of the Storm. Can they? Yeah, Storm can just. Zip out anytime. Without the static storm, I don't think they will be able to kill you off tiny. So it's next. It's up to Queen of Pain to get her uh, orchid. But apparently she's not going for orchid. Is this a use? Are they use smoke? No, no smoke on any of them. It's looking bad for incoming bodies gaming if they don't do any. If they don't do anything to counter this. Storm Spirit is slowly getting out of hand. Okay. 
There's a ward here. We saw the disruptor. Hook on to the hook on to the disruptor. And Cox Cox up, but uh, the glimpse away of the AM was quite questionable. And this Sonic Wave onto three Earth Shaker. Miss. Zip away from the tiny. Zip away from the songs we have Okay, I'm getting tired right now. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Was a disruptor for three of the units. Totally no. not a good trade. And Jairo still managed to get off the Storm Sweep with the homing missile. That's really not a good trade for Team Bali's enemy. Dyer's middle tower is learning. So by to losing fear. just one disruptor, Dyer's middle tower has been uprooted. You managed to get four heroes from the Dyer side. Yeah, Tani, Tani got his Agani right now, and so he is. Even though Antimage has his bad temporary, unless he's full time farming, I don't think he can really do anything right now. Because Tani is too farm, and he can't do, he can't fight with Tani because of the exterior skills that Tani has. He will just keep getting bashed. Although the percentage is quite, is it quite low? It's twenty percent is quite high actually. For every five hits, you get stunned once at least. TP back by an image is quite scared because he can't see anyone. And so it's really a use onto Queen of Pain. I would actually prefer Orchid so that you can stop either anti image or Stone Spirit. But well, I guess they are winning, so it, it won't make much of difference. So as the let's take a look at the net worth chart. It's heading by a 10k net worth to team 70s, and yeah, around 9k of experience. Also, oh, Tani managed to pick up a invis rune. If he can re rotate upwards here and find all of them, oh, he he saw them. If Wait, can we on. get a good engage on this? He can do. Oh, he saw silencer. Silencer she will be dead. Okay, it's not the proper combo, but That's it's so more than enough for to kill all silencer. What was silencer doing? He's yeah. He, I'm not sure why is he stopping here. Just now. He's not buying anything. Oh, she got can can buy nothing. Does he have bling? Oh, he doesn't have bling. So, oh, he's. Tower is under attack. Oh, that was a nice start. Three men stun and a toss on two. Cox up, standing storm, standing storm on two. Storm speed, he can't run. And yeah, that was three, three heroes down easily. Oh, this is not looking good for Team Buddy's gaming. That stun, that stun managed to stun three heroes over here. And they zip in thinking that they. Thinking that Earth Shaker was here, or at least one of the heroes is there. But they, when it's zippy, they can only see two TPs there. And the next moment, you can uh, the Earth Shaker just fissures this side, and he managed to stun three of them. And even without the blink just now, he didn't even use the Echo Slam. So just one good fissure, and the whole fight changes. They thought only one is inside, but everyone TP in. He's not looking. And TP is their only attack. hope now. It may I foresee yet the Radiant's top tower falling shortly. Uh, and Dimitri's network isn't that far behind from the rest of them. Dyer's Even though they are not holding oh, some, the Dimitri is still keeping up with his network. Radiant's top tower is under yeah, that's attack. That's the job of the Dimitri. His full time job is just farming. Engaging on the. I don't think the top tower is under attack. Dimitri. It will fall like a ripe apple. Hyperstone up on Tiny. A sub Kurasun. It's a really, really very fast tiny. If not, the the only one that can try to kill off tiny is Storm Sweet. But then against Storm Sweet, it's not as snowballing as what happened the other game. His battle is really as well. And if he plans to get his battle now, he and plus. I don't think it's a good time to get Blaster now because it, your team isn't really winning, so you can't really get a lot of charges onto Blaster. I'll actually prefer to go for maybe Orchid to stop either Queen of Pain or 
Yeah, actually I have no idea, no idea but I really won't go for Blood Sand this time again because it doesn't really benefit them right now. Or maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. I'm, I'm not a very competitive player, so it's just what I think. So they're going for the top tower. Rocket flare shows that everyone is there. I realize I can zoom in. Zoom out. Dyer's top really tower far. is under attack. It fights for its life. Yeah, that was an easy tower. Dyer's to top tower has fallen. The earth radiance mill tower is losing its is foundation. Farming? Should we be farming? Should we let him farm? Let's even do it. Dyer's top farming tower is Yasha. under attack. So the Dyer's oh. structures are fortified. Oh, the trees AM come back middle 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 tower is under attack. Zip in from the top tower. Is just a zip in and dip in. Radiant's bottom tower is, is fading fast. Dyer's top tower is under attack. They don't do anything about this. They will. Dyer's top tiny tower has been lost to Radiant's Cox on to, on to them. Or oh, use onto Queen of Pins. And Global Sun, basically the Global Sun is wasted. Call down. They greens, they greens back the Storm Speed and manage to kill off two, both the Clockwork and the Storm Speed. And in exchange for the Tiny. I'm not totally sure what is this the best exchange they can do. Like, even though they lose two. Oh, and a, a decade from Queen of Pain to scale off the empty mage. And basically this Rex is there. And I won't stay there if you use that. It's attack. quite dangerous. This thing will take off half of the HP. Into history. So that that ranks in exchange for tiny life you managed to get the top ranks. Yeah. That fight that glimpse as well. Managed to catch off both Clockwork and Stonefield over here. At least now I'm not sure when did he get his blink, but I should have I should take more notes on this kind of thing. Okay, so now back to passive bombing. Let's see if AM can can win back this game for them. <coughs> like, he has been farming quite well actually. He's near to his Manda style already. Like just maybe a few hundred more. Yeah, this stack of this wave of creep will be able to get him his uh, ultimate off. Moonshot. I thought he's going for the assault curious. I guess he doesn't really need more tanky stuff. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Uh, normally you only go for moonshots during as the last item. Yes. Coin. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Playing. It may yet stop tower is under attack. The ring and zipping might be able to cross it, but the, the rest of the team is behind them. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. They know that Cow is inside. Oh, the, oh, the hook shot misses. He was trying to run away. And it's Global Science. There was a good Global Science. Finger on the disruptor. Is he going to die? A mechanism will be able to save his life. And Echo Slam onto one, but I think that's good enough to lock down the, and, uh, the Storm Spirit. And yeah, the Global Science was good actually, but in the end, uh, Tiny just clears across everything. What's the buyback state? No, that's the clue. Yeah, they, there's no buyback. There's only Sansa by way on to the team, and yeah, that was GG called by Team Bali's baby, and Team 70s will take their first game. And yeah, compared to uh, 70s, we will be having our game two in 15 minutes time, and yeah, do stay tuned for the second game soon, and we will start it shortly.